Hi guys, welcome to NavLive. Thanks for clicking on this video. It's going to be a short one today. I just want to talk to you a bit about uh, a piece of software for recording game capturing and screen capturing. Um, it's called OBS Studio. I've already got it downloaded and installed and I'm using it to actually record this video now. <clears throat> Firstly what you want to do is you want to head over to their website. I'll put a link in the description. It'll take you straight to the download page. You select your operating system, select whether you want the classic or the studio. I've got the studio, it's just an all-in-one package, you seem to get everything with that. Uh, and at the time of recording this video, the latest release is 0.16.2. So just go ahead, download that, uh, head over to wherever you've downloaded it. Normally in your downloads folder, run that, install it, and then once it's installed, open it up. Now I've already got it open, so I'll just click on it here. Okay, so when you first set up, it will be completely blank. Um, you'll just see a grey screen here, and just these empty boxes here. First thing I'd recommend you do is click File, click Settings, and just go through and set everything up to how you want it. Experiment as well. Different settings give you different outputs, uh, different video settings, uh, things like that. Just. Uh, experiment and see what works well for you uh, right next off to actually get going uh, you want to create a scene so you click plus create a scene call it anything you want and click OK and that will add it into here then you need a source to actually capture uh, this newest version gives you a few extra features now if I click plus I've already got one set up display capture because I'm capturing my whole display if you click plus You've got loads of different options that you can capture from. You've got audio, browser, display and game are probably the two that most people are going to use. Game capture, if I click on this, create new. You can call this anything you want, click OK, it will then open up the properties box. I haven't got any games running, so this is just going to be blank. This will be a little preview window. You've got your mode down here. At the moment it's set on capture any full screen application. You can change that to specific window or a foreground window with a hotkey. I'd suggest leaving it on full screen. Um, I also turn to turn off capture cursor. It can be a bit distracting if you're looking at a mouse in a video. But just have to play around, see what you uh, what settings you like. Click OK and that will add it in. And then you see your preview window here. Now I'm not using this so I'm just going to delete it. Yes. Okay. So now we've got our scene and our source set up. You've got your mixer for your audio. Change the levels and the volume and change the settings. Get it all set up to how you want it. And then over here you've got a few buttons to get you going. You've got a scene transition so you can actually create fades in and out of your videos. Um, it's a good little feature so you don't have to do it in post-production. You can just do it straight away in here. Save some time. You can set your duration. You can use this software for streaming to different sites. Uh, most people use it for streaming to Twitch. I'm sure you've probably, if you search, you'll uh, you'll see there's lots of videos on how to set it up to stream to Twitch. I don't use Twitch. I don't use this for streaming, so I'm not going to go over that. Here, it will say start recording. I'm already recording, so it, was, it now changes to stop recording. That's pretty much all you need to do. You just need to set up a scene, select your source, sort your audio out, and then click start recording. And it's as simple as that. It's so easy to use. And the best part about it is it's free. So you haven't got to pay anything for it. I would suggest, though, if you do like it, just head over to their page and you can donate. I'd suggest you do that if you like using it. It's fast, it's easy, it doesn't eat up a lot of CPU. You can carry on doing what you need to do. Um, I've used it a few times to record some Skype conversations with me uh, and a few friends while we're playing Cards Against Humanity Online, things like that. I'm also going to use it to record my first ever FSX flight simulator video. I'm going to make it a short one. I'll also put that link to that video in the description. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to quickly go over this, show it to you, and just say that I really recommend this. Uh, go and download it and let me know what you think if you do get any problems with it or you're not sure how to do something you can either check out on their website in the help section you've got the home or the help frequently asked questions 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop us a comment, and we'll see you in the next one.